Being an effective facilitator takes both confidence and skill. Facilitating team building events or a meeting is not easy, especially in a technology focused environment. For that reason, in today's video, we will learn the traits of an effective facilitator that embraces our world's technology needs. Please make sure to smash that like button and subscribe and let's get started. A facilitator suggests ways and uses tools to help the group move forward while steering and guiding people towards the correct path. But how do we steer and guide people with our endorphin-filled environments? In a recent article written by GitNux, nearly 44% of 15 and 19-year-olds agree with the statement, I find it difficult to take a tech break, even when I know I should. Additionally, the number of those who struggle to put down their devices drops with age, but there's still a considerably high number of people who are still connected to their technology. But something that I found even more important is that 61% of internet users are addicted to it in some capacity. Being a facilitator in these environments is difficult for many reasons. The major reason is that people generally desire immediate and quick information. There's a general fear that people are not in the know, and this fear, or rather dependency on information, makes it really important for a facilitator to make sure that they are planning for this particular need. So a good facilitator will have to implement four key strategies. The first, be time bound. As a facilitator, it's important to respect everyone's time and be explicit about when you're either adding or deviating from that time. If you're behind, communicate it and compensate in other areas. If someone is taking a long time to answer a question, don't be afraid to stop the discussion in order to lead people back to focus. Within a team building event, Taking the time to respect everyone's time will help others respect and connect to you even more. Next, a good facilitator must practice authentic listening. A facilitator needs to be able to actively listen to their group and understand what they're trying to say. Paraphrasing, summing up, or using other active listening techniques are great ways to fully grasp and engage the meaning of what people are saying. Essentially, a good facilitator must listen with and show interest, especially if they're able to get other people to participate. The next strategy is to remove technology. One way to do this is to tell people your why around technology and focus. A well-cited 2001 study by research psychology found that people switch back and forth between tasks. They lose up to 50% of their efficiency and accuracy. The more complex the task, such as your typical meeting strategy discussion, the more processing is lost. At the beginning of a meeting, simply state, please turn off your phones until the meeting is over. We need everyone's best attention and thinking so we can utilize this time most effectively. The next strategy, create breaks. Think about what I said at the start of the video. For many people, the internet and their phones are an addiction. Separating them from that addiction may be problematic, especially if it's for too long. The best way to combat this is by creating intentional breaks during long sessions. According to an article by Better Teams, the human brain can only focus for up to 90 minutes without becoming extremely fatigued. In an intense meeting or difficult training, 90 minutes may even be too long to go without a break. Sometimes it's preferred to break every hour. If the break is every 90 minutes, I find that participants are grateful for a two to five minute stretch break around the 45 minute mark. It might be wise to create five minute breaks every 30 minutes or so and then encourage everyone to be locked in when you are actually in your particular session. It gives people a break or something to look forward to. Now, there are clearly more strategies that you can use, but if you use these strategies, you'll have a more successful team building or meeting or event. Please make sure to smash that like button and subscribe and thanks for watching.